Hey, John here at the Grape and Granary. Today we're going to be doing a little uh, demonstration of the use of a couple of the different hand cappers that we sell. Uh, the red one here is called the Emily Capper, and the black one here is called the Black Beauty Capper. They're both good cappers. This one we actually sell in our uh, beginner's uh, starter kit. So I thought I would do a little demonstration on the use of each of these cappers, and we'll talk a little bit about the differences between the two. So let's start out uh, with the uh, Black Beauty Capper. Um, I would say overall it's probably not quite as heavy duty as the Emily Capper. Um, if you're not doing a million bottles a year, a hand capper like this is probably going to do just fine for you. If you're finding yourself doing a lot of cappers, you might want to step up to maybe a bench type capper. Um, but for the beginning beer brewer, the uh, Black Beauty Capper is a really good place to start. So let's go ahead and I'll show you uh, how it works. First thing you want to know about these cappers is this model and the Emily model are both magnetized. It capping die. So all we have to do is take our crown cap, place it in the capper like that, and the magnet will hold it in place. And then we can go ahead and set it on top of our bottle, like such. Pull the handles down almost like you would with a uh, corker. Straight down, and the capping die comes down and crimps around the outside of the capper, and pull the handles back up, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, we'll go ahead and cap one with the Emily capper. This one's a little more, a little heavier duty, I would say. It does have a capping die here that can be removed and replaced where the other one doesn't. So I've got another couple bottles here. This is a 22 ounce beer bottle here. This is a standard 12 ounce beer bottle. Here I have a 16 ounce a Belgian beer bottle, and here I have a champagne bottle. And I'll talk about the champagne bottle here in a second. So let's go ahead and cap a 22 ounce beer bottle with our uh, Emily. Again, this one is magnetized, so we just drop the cap right on the capping die. Place the cap on top of our bottle to be capped. And we're just going to go ahead and drop the two handles down, like so. Push the handles down. And it's, this one's actually spring loaded, so it actually, the handles spring right back up. And there you go. Another well capped bottle. Again, overall, I think the Emily Capper is a little heavier duty. It's a little nicer because you have the springs there to pull the handles back, so it's a little easier to use. However, there's one thing you need to know, and that is if you plan on now or in the future capping champagne bottles, the Emily Capper does not work with champagne bottles, okay? When you come down on the lip here on the champagne bottle, it prevents the handles from coming down with the Emily Capper. If you're going to do champagne bottles, you have to use the Black Beauty capper. So I'll go ahead and do one of these and show you how that works. You get magnetized, put the capper, a cap on the capping die, pull down the two handles, and that's really all there is to it. So, if you're doing champagne bottles, I recommend the Black Beauty capper or the Bench capper. If you're doing standard beer bottles, the Emily capper is probably a little nicer than the Black Beauty capper. Both of them, however, uh, work really well. So. If you have any questions, uh, you're not sure about anything, um, feel free to give us a call. Uh, we're here all the time, Grape and Granary. You can find us on the web at www.thegrape.net. And thanks for watching.